restoration project of the St. Michael's Cathedral in downtown Toronto is using a mixed bag of traditional and new construction methods. Keeping with tradition, Barrow Sandstone was used in the project courtesy of traditional cut stone limited, who tend to like doing things the old-fashioned way. Modern technology. Yeah, we, we, uh, we have a, a, a shop in Mississauga and we have some machines, but machine, it's just machine, you need to put the soul and heart in, in those pieces. Sandstone needs, uh, how you can say, it's very brittle in the tools, you need to have the right tools, uh, very sharp all the time. And, uh, also here, I, I put my guys who don't have the mask because they must like everybody will have the mask and dust, you know, to, to be protected, right? Even our name, traditional custom, we try to keep that tradition and we don't try to make shortcuts or how you can say, you know. It's, this is our history, you know. Just think about it. you go back to pyramids or to Rome to see those buildings. We are a young country here, but we need to preserve our history here too. On February 5th, the statue of St. Michael was unveiled and blessed by Cardinal Thomas Collins before it was lifted to its resting spot. The rising of the Italian-made statue was accompanied by singing from the St. Michael's Choir School. Check out the Daily Commercial News online for Kelly LaPointe's story on the restoration project of the St. Michael's Cathedral.